So, this is my residence area. Awfully dreary, isn't it? Does that mean my heart's dried up? Resonance area connection is stable. You should have an easy time. <laughs> Good. Thanks, Amy. Let's get to it, then. It sure is scary being inside your own mind, though. Who knows what monsters are in here? Oh. Is this one of those memory nodes I've been hearing about? Yes. I've confirmed it on my end, too. Please start removing it, Ricardo. Gotcha. Okay, now please be something we can chuckle at. From this day forth, you're all members of the Great Gleipnir. Delegate Ricardo Svorza, step forward. I swear that I shall ever endeavor to fight for the future of humanity. Ah, uh, starting there, are we? Give me a break. This is too embarrassing. And I was considered pretty good back then. <laughs> Laughable, huh? I heard you were handpicked for this large-scale operation too, Ricardo. <laughs> Let's do it. We'll lead the way to victory. We'll be Gleipnir's elite. <laughs> Still wet behind the ears. And that ambition! <laughs> it was a few years before the Calamity, when Gleipnir planned a large-scale origami hunt. But everything went haywire, and the operation failed. Second defensive line broken! Origami swarm incoming! Abort mission! We can all... Are they all dead? Will anyone save me? R Ricardo! Help me! Can't stop the bleeding! I don't want to die! Especially not in front of a kid like you. I can do this. This won't miss. Wasn't bad. I think we're done, Amy. Can we go home? Understood. Initiating disconnection sequence. <clears throat> Sorry for showing you something that heavy all of a sudden. I used to be a Gleipnir zealot, fully believing we were defending humanity. Can you believe it? But in the end, I couldn't accomplish anything. Not even dying properly. Like you saw, Gleipnir's plan failed because of an unexpected origami encounter. 
I was the only person there who survived. And the experience broke something inside of me. I left Gleipnir soon afterward, and that's pretty much the story. I appreciate it, but you don't need to console me. If I'd kept fighting until reinforcements came and rescued me, I could still face myself. But... My comrades needed help, and I turned my back on them. I didn't even try to fight. That's why I'm comfortably standing here today. I'm a coward who's not worth defending. Uh, sorry, I've said way too much. I wish you wouldn't look at me like that. This old man's memories are all like this. Boring stories, I'll just waste your time. If you're still willing to lend an ear, fine. Just don't let it get to you, okay?